Morning guys, Rich here. Um, we took delivery of the tractor and overseeder on Monday morning. You may have seen this out on the golf course over the last couple of days. Um, very important bit of kit um, for the areas that struggled over the summer, just with the heat stress and uh, a few little bare areas around the golf course. So that's what we're concentrating on this week. Um, as you can see inside the hopper, seed sits in there, works its way down the tubes there, which you can see in the discs just slipped into the fairway and the seed has dropped out of these tubes and into the ground. Um, I'm here left hand side of the approach on 16 um, that dried out a little bit over the summer and I'll just show you these these slits. So the discs make these slits and the seed pops in just into those slits there. You can see plenty of seed in these in these areas which will uh, germinate and grow nicely over the next uh, week or so. So yeah, plenty of seeding going on, um, which I showed you in the videos previously. Um, just on these these areas this week, concentrating on the, the fairways, a few approaches, um, and the odd bits around the roughs and things. But I'll keep you updated, show you videos as we go through the week. Um, general maintenance this week. Uh, Greens have had a cut and a roll the last two days. Um, and we'll, again, a full course cut, we'll concentrate on, on this week. Um, but as you can see, plenty of seed in these fairway lines, in these slits here, um, and uh, which stands in good stead for, for next year with um, irrigation upgrades as well. Um, extending a few fairways with irrigation, like this one on 16, We're getting a few more heads down the bottom there. Um, a few approach extensions as well, which I will go through as this work uh, continues to happen. But uh, all looking very good for for next year. So I'll keep you updated. Cheers. Just a quick little video, guys, of uh, the area in between the end of the 14th fairway and the collar of the green. Um, obviously, previously very scabby area. Um, still is at the minute, but I just wanted to show you the effects of the uh, solid tining and seeding we did around 10 days ago now. If you look closely in the holes there, we can see the new seed coming through nicely. Um, I will also run over it with the uh, overseed uh, this morning just to get even more seed in, get that germinating. Um, we want to get this area growing and lush so that any balls obviously that run through the fairway um, will be on the approach, which we will turn this into the approach. Um, either this year or beginning of next year. But uh, it's looking good. Grass is coming through and uh, give it another sort of 10 days. You'll see uh, even more grass in these, in these slitted areas that we'll, that we'll do this morning.